Okay, voice meter. It's about time. We're talking voice meter now. My Blue Yeti video kind of popped off, which is nice, like super happy about that, but I'm still getting a lot of questions about like how can I set this up with voice meter since I didn't really do an in-depth tutorial then. I'll do one now. Hopefully this will be a good one because there's like hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube how to set voice meter up that are all like 30 minute long videos. And honestly, this does not need to be that complicated. It's intimidating at first when you have no idea what you're looking at, but I think I can explain it very quickly. It's not that complicated. It is hard to troubleshoot for other people though, because everyone's setup will be a little bit different, mostly the same, but it's a little bit different. So if you're having issues with voice meter at all, I'll go over some troubleshooting things towards the end of the video. But right now, best thing you could do is probably pull this video up on mobile so you can listen to it there and then reset your voice meter settings and then just follow my steps uh, and then just follow this video step by step and then you should be good so that's my advice so here we'll just get started right now so to download voice meter of course go to vbaudio.com links is always in the description want to download voice meter banana and then you'll want to download vb virtual audio device these are the downloads links in the description and then we'll just go right into uh voice meter so if you have issues with this, now I would suggest to download Voice Meter Banana. That's gonna be the link in the description. Some people who've reached out to me just have straight Voice Meter, which is okay. It's a really stripped down version of Voice Meter Banana, and Voice Meter Banana is a really stripped down version of Voice Meter Potato. So just so you know, these things exist. Okay, so if you have issues, go to menu, and then go to reset settings, reinitialization. Okay, so now this is where everyone's at the same playing field right now. So first things first, select your hardware output. So right now I'm gonna click on A1 right here. So this is where I'm sending audio so that I can listen to it. Um, I have two setups. I have my HD800s right here, weird flex. So that's going to be my Realtek digital output wdm and then i'm going to also add my floor speakers because i have exactly that floor speakers on both sides of me so i'm going to select those so that i have my setup for me okay so i'm going to select my microphone now which i'm going to be working towards the blue yeti here um, i have the rode nt1 set up right now for recording i'm not going to touch this because that will interfere with my recording of this video so i'm just going to again focus strictly on the blue yeti so normally i would say just set it up right here but that's my going to be my nt1 so we're going to do the blue yeti here wdm yeti microphone there we go we're good we're golden so just to kind of organize this a little bit you can right click on the names here and then name it whatever you want so that just helps me um i like to be organized a little bit okay so now we have everything set up here's how it is so we have a1 a2 a3 so if I want to send audio to my headphones, but not my speakers, then I will click A1 here on the Blue Yeti. My Blue Yeti is sending its audio to A1, which means if I put my headphones on, I'm going to hear myself through the Blue Yeti, which I can right now. So that's kind of cool. That's helpful when you're EQing your mic. Um, there's a slight delay on it, so I would never actually have that clicked up. Uh, it's, it's pretty annoying to have that. But when you're messing with anything, if you want to hear what you sound like, you can just click that and know exactly what you sound like. So I'm going to unclick that so I don't hear myself right now. OK, so we have A1 unclicked, which is good. So you're not going to hear yourself. And then you're going to want to click B1 or B2 or both. Uh, and so that is going to send it over here to B1 or B2. And this is how people are going to hear you. So this is talking through that virtual cable that we downloaded. OK, so when you open discord and this goes for any and every application that you want to use your output device should be voice meter input and your input device should be voice meter output this is important so if you're troubleshooting take a look at these your output input devices make sure that everything is talking to each other correctly okay so back to voice meter so we're going to send this to B1. And if I don't send it to B1, we're testing right now. We can see that I'm getting audio from my voice. If I unclick B1, this is going to fall down, which means people in Discord are not going to hear you. So just click B1 and then you'll be good. Also, kind of a cool feature. 
um, like I said in my other video, is the IntelliPan. So this will, the higher you get it, the more echoey you're, you'll get. So the lower is will be a really flat sound, which I like. Um, I mean, it, for Discord, no need to have echo. So I'll keep it low now. Again, don't bring it all the way to the corner. Bring it just a little bit outside of the center line and then hover it around here. This is probably going to wear be where most people set their audio signals to so i would probably set it to here now um, which is a little bit different than my first video and then we're going to want to set up the gate so this is pretty much going to cut out any audio that's going on in the background when you're not talking if i'm not talking at all you'll see bars so i'm just going to turn the gate up until those bars disappear which will be probably around one okay so we'll just leave it at one then and then the compressor does the exact opposite. It will make quiet noises loud. And I don't really like this on voice meter because a lot of those quiet noises that it will pick up is like your mouth noises like the I don't want to do. So I'll just bring it up to like 0.6 and call it good. And then a third thing is to right click where I just did on the top of this, this meter. And then I will do minus five so that's also putting a limiter on it so you're never going to get louder than that which is nice when you scream you're not going to you know destroy the, the eardrums so now we have the blue yeti set up and it's talking to b1 we're good to go i'm also going to click mono and now we're going to eq it so on b1 because that is where we are sending the blue yeti to we're going to click eq to turn it on and then right click it to actually adjust it so we have a very flat sound signature right now so this is where a lot of your own preference is going to come to. So what you're going to want to do is while you have the EQ up, let's go ahead and send it to A1 so we can actually hear our voice and hear how we're affecting it. And a lot of people's voice EQ is going to be a little bit different. I mean, we're all using the same mic, so for the for so it should look a little bit similar. And but we all have different voices, right? So my voice is pretty low. Um so sometimes I could get away with boosting my high ends a little bit. So that might be a little bit nice. Um, and then maybe cutting out the low ends and maybe I could get away with cutting out the low ends here. So pretty much just the way that this EQ works is when you're going above this threshold here, you're going to be boosting that frequency. So if I wanted to sound, <coughs> if I wanted to sound more normal, then maybe I would lower my low end and then I would boost my highs and boost my mids a little bit. Um, and it would not look anything like this because I can't actually hear myself right now. So I'm not going to intelligently EQ myself. I'm just going to tell you how to work it. Your EQ is going to look however it looks. Okay. But this all comes back to my previous video where talking about the blue Yeti where less is more. Like this is an insane EQ right now. Okay, so don't go crazy with it. Less is more. We could easily look up a good, what's a good EQ? So one thing you can do um, is just take advantage of, of other people's resources and research. So looking up graphs of the best, uh, what's a good EQ for the Blue Yeti? And then you can also do this for your headphones. So for a uh, uh, Blue Yeti, you can take this and we're looking at the frequencies here and we're looking at the decibels and then just try to match that with the EQ in here and then see if you like how that sounds with your voice. So there's a lot of different ways that you can mess with this, which is really fun. And furthermore, so in the same way that we EQ'd our vocals, we can also EQ our speakers, which is really, really cool. Um, and that is also worth doing. So now we can just be looking through graphs of what people suggest for HyperX clouds. Um, and all you got to do is again, look at the frequencies, look at the decibels, and then just try to match this line and curve as best you can in voice meter. So this is pretty much it. We're set up. We're good to go. So now with the virtual cable, we can add that to a hardware input. And then we could send Spotify because in Spotify, you can change your default output and then you can send Spotify to this cable, the virtual cable that I just selected in hardware input. And then from hardware input, we could send that to both to a one so I can hear Spotify, but we can also send it to B one. So that means I can just hop into discord and be a music bot and I can adjust that volume independently with this fader. There's just a lot of different ways that you can have this set up that 
just make it your own. There's a lot of different ways that you can approach this. You can also record yourself and that's all super helpful to hear how you sound to other people. And then last thing is just if you're having issues for whatever reason, just a couple tips here. If you're having any issues, if people on Discord say, hey, you sound good, but there's like some mic pops, or there's some popping in your mic, or maybe there's some static in your audio, whatever it is. Like I said, when we're selecting our, like the Blue Yeti, so, I selected the WDM Blue Yeti and I'm having issues with it. I'm then going to go to the MME Blue Yeti and then hopefully that will fix it. For the most part it does because these are two different audio drivers. So they work differently, same but different. So doing that for either your microphone or your speakers, that is just a quick fix. This will get 90% of you. If you're having issues with, maybe you're not getting audio from Discord or whatever, Again, check your inputs, check your outputs, and then make sure that everything is talking to each other the way that it should be. So now then we can also go into the sound settings. So I'm going to so I'm going to right click on that, open sound settings, sound control panel. You just want to set voice meter as your default uh, default devices. And once you do that, you really don't have to change anything into those separate applications. Like maybe you'd want to change Spotify so that you can be uh, your own little sound bot in Discord. So maybe that's helpful. But for the most part, you just got to go into the sound here, set your default communications, which I would do right now, but that would interfere with the recording that I'm making right now. So this is kind of a little difficult, a little iffy to record, um, but it's very simple. Do not overthink it. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Once you're fully set up and everything's running, here's some settings that you want to change. First of all, save your settings, email them to yourself, upload it to the Google Drive, save it in a document somewhere so that if you ever start having issues, maybe you could reset settings and then load settings and then bring everything back to how it is right now when it's working perfectly. Save your settings. Also, I click, um, I like to have all three of these clicked. So you're going to turn your computer off. You're going to think everything's fine. And then you're going to boot back up and then you're not going to hear anything. And you're going to wonder why, because voice meter actually has to be turned on, run at startup, have it going in the system tray, show app on startup. I like to do that so that I know when it is running and when it is not running and then always visible. I actually don't like that. I've been kind of annoyed by that lately. So since we're just kind of messing with everything anyways, right now, what you probably should do, um, is going go into your discord voice settings voice and videos scroll all the way down and just click reset voice settings um and that also saved some issues for me those are just a couple of tips and tricks hopefully you're good okay and then with completely different lighting and audio we will finish the video off here so i switched to my blue yeti so here's how it sounds with the eq and the intellipan and all that so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be responding i'll also leave an invite to my own personal discord in the description so if you wanted to ever hop in there and have any questions for me i might respond really quickly if you want to test your audio you could just hop in a call i'm usually there and that's pretty much it check the links again in the description i'll leave some resources out there for you and all right we'll, we're cutting it there it's over it's done Patches the mother. Oh God, you should match it. It's that tail. No way, lighter. Still, I fuck my 28th up. 1998, my family had the actor. Oh, the legend.